Hey y'all, Eric here, back with a, another one. I'm actually running an errand, so I'm taking you all with me. Sorry it's taking me a while to get a full length video out, but I do run a small business and time can get pretty tight with the three year old and all. No excuses, let's get right to it. What I wanted to cover with you today is a couple things. Uh, number one, I wanted to circle back regarding the bio advanced and do a side video. I did notice that the BioAdvance did work a little bit better on those spittle bugs. So what I did is uh, I ended up distributing the rest of the BioAdvance in the front yard. Uh, did the trick, spittle bugs are a lot less. They really got concentrated up in the front yard where I had uh, used the duo side. So that's number one. Number two, what am I doing in my lawn? Well. We're uh, approaching the end of summer. I know it's only, well, it's not even middle of August, close to the middle of August, but I'm already thinking about what to do. Well, I just spread my last high nitrogen fertilizer application. I went with the other half a bag of the Turf Royale that I spread last time. I uh, was really excited about those results. I actually just spread that today. We got uh, a bit of rain uh, this afternoon and we should get a little bit more tonight so uh, save me some money on the water bill there very excited about that when uh, fall comes i'll drop down to the uh, freedom blend in september uh, which is 17 percent nitrogen and then from there i will go my last application will probably be in october which will be the stress blend and uh, the stress blend will really get things ready for dormancy Number three, I laid down some RGS last week. As we start approaching fall, I uh, really start focusing on uh, micronutrients and getting the roots ready and healthy for dormancy. You can never start too early. I have a link below uh, where you can get RGS on yardmastery.com so you can uh, order it directly from them. Number four. I am looking at my inventory, things that I might have half, quarter of, um, could be herbicide, could be fungicide, could be insecticide, could be any sort of fertilizer, whatever the case might be. I noticed that there was the beginnings of some gray leaf spot in a shady area of my backyard. I had a little bit of 3336F to get rid of. Did it warrant applying fungicide in a typical situation? Maybe not, it's not my first go-to, but I had a little bit of a bottle left, enough to make a fifth of a gallon uh, to spray that area. So I ended up doing that yesterday, watering it in really quickly, and it worked out well. I also uh, had some of that duocide left over, just because it didn't work as well as the BioAdvance, doesn't mean that it doesn't work. So uh, the backyard did have a little bit of uh, insect challenges, got uh, some grasshoppers and crickets back there, also some spittle bugs, but not like it was in the front. So uh, what I ended up doing is uh, spreading some of that dew aside and uh, letting the rain water that in today. I also had a bag of compost manure and spread that in some of the bare areas uh, that are underneath the, the birch tree in my backyard uh, in the hopes that it'll help uh, grow that area in more quickly. It's pretty hard pan there with little pebbles. Uh, it seems like the deeper I dig, the more pebbles I find, uh, whatever the previous owner was doing over there. So uh, spread some of that manure there, uh, got rid of that bag because as cold weather approaches, probably not gonna need that too much. Number five, I'm gonna start checking my soil temp. Obviously it's too warm now, but the next couple weeks I'm gonna keep an eye on it because uh, soil temps can start dropping here probably end of September. Uh, but I might apply some pre-emergent early. Well, why is that? Well, I did a gut check uh, just last week of how my lawn did with weeds and uh, the pre-emergent, I think I timed it out perfectly. There's a couple areas where there's some weeds in my lawn uh, on the very edges of where my grass meets the street. 
it's you know unless I spray right there I use granular this year but unless you spray it's really hard to to get those areas the reason I believe it was successful is because I applied early and then I made another application late I did a medium application early and then I did a heavy application late of the prodiamine um, I'll probably go with the thiopur first early and then I'll follow up with a prodiamine application in December-ish, January timeframe because the, the thiopur does not um, hold as long as the prodiamine does. But I definitely don't want to use all prodiamine because I'd go over my annual limit. Lastly, one quick tip. A great lawn really just takes consistency and timing. And how do you get better at timing? Consistency. So have a plan and uh, that plan is gonna look different for you than it looks for me. I, I live you know, outside of the Charlotte area in North Carolina, uh, depending on if you're in Florida, I don't even think you can throw down a nitrogen fertilizer right now. So what does it look like for your area? And uh, map that out. Uh, tweak some things next year that you may have done differently this year looking back keep a journal and uh, Find some friends that are doing the same thing you are just trying to have a great lawn and uh, share ideas back and forth and uh, really enjoy the community that's built up around this channel and uh, All the comments and questions super grateful for all those so if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below um, if you enjoy any of the products that I'm using or are willing to try them, uh, please click the link below. Helps the channel out a lot. And without any further ado, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.